Good day all, welcome to HIMT's YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see the engine room simulator operations. So today we will be starting with a dead ship condition. A dead ship condition where all the generator engines have failed to start or the running generator has tripped and also the emergency generator which has to come on load within 45 seconds failed to come on load. So we are in a situation where there is no air pressure in the air bottle also to start the generators. So let us see how to tackle the situation. First we will have a look on our power management system. Okay, over here we can see this is our MSB and you can see it is completely dead. There is no source of power to the MSB and also the ESB we can see over here it is also completely dead. There is no source of power from the emergency generator. So let us see why the emergency generator did not come on load. Okay, so this is our emergency generator. The emergency generator will have minimum two modes of starting. One with the help of a battery and the second mode of starting will be either hydraulic like what we have in our system. So why this particular generator did not come on load is because it is not on standby. First reason you can see this is the fuel reservoir. The DO supply valve to the engine is kept closed. So we keep it open. And there is a test mode switch which has to be in off condition. We switch on the test mode when we have to test the engine alone during our Saturday routines. So when I switch off the test mode, you can see the engine has started. It is with the help of the battery which was kept charged. And you can see the voltage and frequency is developing. Once the voltage is developed up to 440 volts, the engine will come on load automatically. The ACB is going to close and the engine is on load now. So this is what would happen in case of an blackout. That is when the main MSB power is cut, the emergency generator will start and come on load within 45 seconds. Okay, so what we saw now was the battery starting mechanism. Now I will open the ACB, take the generator offload, keep the test mode on, stop the engine, and I will simulate how to start manually using the hydraulic oil pressure. So there is an oil reservoir, and there is a manual pump, and there is an accumulator. So using the manual hand pump, I am going to pressurize the accumulator with the hydraulic oil. And after that, I am going to release this pressure to the hydraulic motor, which is coupled with a crankshaft. And you can see now it has cranked the engine and the engine is picked on fuel. Once the engine is picked on fuel, the hydraulic motor gets disengaged from the crankshaft and it will be running on fuel. So this is just a starting mechanism for the generator engine. Okay, now when I switch off the test mode, the ACB will close automatically and the engine generator will come on load. Okay, so these are the two methods by which we can start the emergency generator. If your emergency generator is on standby, it is going to come on load within 45 seconds of a blackout condition of the ship. Now we will see what are the various emergency loads that are connected to our emergency generator. So it comes under emergency generator, emergency switchboard. So these are the various loads which are connected to the emergency switchboard. We will see one by one. The first one is the emergency generator battery. The emergency generator battery, there is a breaker which enables to keep the battery charged always. By trickle charge method, it will be kept on charge all the time. The next what we have is water mist high pressure pump to fight the fire. So we can keep this breaker on. The next one we have number 2 port engine room supply or exhaust fan. So since it is a blackout condition and you have to start your air compressors because your air bottles are empty and you are going to start your generator engines. So the turbochargers and air compressors will require a huge amount of air which is to be present in the engine room. 
so we have to switch on this particular breaker and start the supply fan this fan can be run in both supply and exhaust mode so we'll be running in supply mode so that we have sufficient amount of air in the engine room the next one is the emergency fire pump so in the event of a fire in the engine room we will be making use of this particular emergency fire pump which is having its power from emergency switchboard the next we have auxiliary seawater pump which will help us to start the generator engine the next we can see it is one of the main air compressors number two main air compressor which will help in filling up the air bottle for starting purposes of various machineries mainly we have to start the generator so we will be requiring compressed air for the starting the next is number two generator engine jacket cooling fresh water pump again it is going to help in starting the generator engine the next one is generator engine diesel oil supply pump so since we are in a blackout condition where there is no power and also we do not have the steam pressure so we can only rely on diesel for starting the engines so the generator diesel oil supply pump will be having the power emergency power from the emergency switchboard then next we can see the generator lube oil priming pumps all the generators will be having a priming pump it is either a motor driven or it will be a hand pump if it is a motor driven it will be having its power from the emergency switchboard so we keep all these three breakers on and the next one are the navigational aids so we keep all the navigational aids breakers on the next we can see number two steering gear motor so in the event of a blackout also we should have proper steering facilities for the ship so that our ship does not go and collide with any other ship so we keep this breaker on and the 220 volt distribution panel supplying various lightings keep all the breakers on okay so we have seen what are the various emergency loads that are connected to the emergency generator mainly our esb so in the coming videos we'll see how to prepare the generator engine from a dead ship condition and then moving on we'll see the preparation of auxiliary boiler how to prepare the purifier for starting and we'll also see the preparation of main engine how to prepare the main engine for starting so stay tuned to our youtube channel for further videos thanks for watching if you like the video please do like and subscribe thank you